Hi guys, so I am back with my silicone baby collection. And this is like part two of the video. So if you did not see part one, it is the video right before this one. Go to my channel homepage and you'll see the video that says my Claire Taylor babies silicone collection i believe that's what the title was but it is right before this video so that way you can see me introduce all of these babies and say their sculpt names and all of that and i might even try and put that video at the end of this one so that you can just click it if you didn't see that first video so right now i am back i have change three babies off camera so that way that this video won't be too long with me trying to change all of the babies on camera um all of these babies as i said are clear taylor doll sculpts so right here in front we have jackson over here and he is willow asleep by clear taylor dolls and he is painted by Paula Briggs and rooted by Paula Briggs. And he is wearing a Gerber onesie and it is gray, like a charcoal gray, a light gray. And it has that pretty mustard color yellow on there with stripes. And then he has the little hat that matches. Normally, I don't like to put hats on my babies when they have hair. I notice I really don't like to put hats on them. To me, if the hat is too tight, I think like it can pull out the silicone baby's hair, being that their hair is not sealed. So I definitely don't like a tight hat if I am going to put a hat. But this hat seems to fit him pretty good. It's not too tight. It actually, it fits him. So he's wearing the hat with his little onesie and these little socks with the mustard color. I love these socks now that they have with the little animal faces on the top of them. And I kind of turn them around where you can see the animal face on the inside of the baby's leg. So that's what Jackson is wearing. And then next is Layla. And Layla is the Dwayne Awake sculpt by Clea Taylor Dolls. And she is a premium, fully completed Clear Taylor doll, all done by Clear Taylor. Layla is wearing a flowered onesie with different color flowers on it. And I put back on the same socks she had on with her last flowered onesie. Um, and it's, these socks kind of match this onesie too. So I just put this back on her and it has the flowers her socks these are new um these are by uh what is it <laughs> i can't think of the name of it and i look at the name of this all the time it's some moments at walmart i have to look at the other ones you i have and see what is this called because all of a sudden i can't remember but these socks, what I like about them is that the flower is on both sides of the sock. So either way, you see it on the outside and you can see the flower on the inside. I thought that was a good idea. So I think it's Modern Moments by is in Walmart. I have so many things by that brand and I just took everything up front so I don't have anything back here that I already took off the baby so I can't even look at it but I think it's Modern Moments at Walmart the new brand they have um so that is what Layla's wearing and I just paired it with this headband that I already had it's like that coral color um because I didn't have a match with this onesie like this is just a onesie by itself so i kind of paired it with the headband and these socks so that's layla and then on the end right here we have gabriel and he's wearing a gerber little onesie and hat it has the vehicles on it it is this beautiful mustard really mustard like golden mustard color and black the little vehicles on here are black so I didn't want to put black socks on him. I really don't put black socks on my dolls. 
I have black socks, I think, though, but I don't really use them. So I put gray socks on him. They're the dark charcoal gray and also has the little animal on the top part of it. So that's what he's wearing. And Gabriel's Andrew by the Andrew Sculpt, a premium doll, edition doll, or completed by Claire Taylor Dolls as well. And he is Gabriel, like I said. Okay, so that's those three that's dressed. Now I'm going to come as close as I can with this tripod. And I'm going to be dressing three babies on camera. That's my goal. Um, and then I'll show the babies on this side when I'm done. One of them is already dressed all the way in the back back there. Little Mika, she already had on her onesie. I left her same onesie on her, her same headband, and just put socks on her to match. So I will show her when I'm done dressing these three that need to get dressed. So first we're going to change little... Everett here, being that he's right up front, I'm going to change him first. So I was trying to find something with mustard color in it for all the boys to wear. Um, so he's going to get this little onesie with the animals on it. And the lion one here has the little mustard color around his mane. And this is like an ivory colored onesie. And this one is by, by child of mine. And it's a newborn. So he's going to get this one. Because all of my Gerber onesies that I bought. That like Gabriel is wearing. And Jackson is wearing. I have a few of those. That I purchased. Especially when they had the sale after Christmas. On all of the Gerber onesies. And hats and everything. And the socks. But I bought all of them. In like the three month size. And so I didn't want to put that on Everett because it's going to like swallow him up because this baby is more of a newborn size baby. And he probably could wear those three months onesies, but I know they'll be kind of like big on him. So I didn't want to put him in the big onesie. I figure I'll just leave those for the bigger babies. But it looks like I need to probably look for some little Gerber onesies now in the newborn size. Because I bought a lot of the socks that match the new onesies. I bought a lot of hats. But all of the onesies I bought is three months. So I might get an, another pack of the onesies. Or a pack or two and get some newborn size. And I have so many onesies, but you know... The onesies, as I've always said, seem dated, meaning that once you have them for a while, they come out with new ones. So then you can tell that the ones you had already, those are the old prints. But even if they're like old, I, I have a lot of onesies that are the older prints. I still will put them on the babies anyway because they didn't wear them yet. So technically, they're still new. It just might be from an older line or an older print. I still put it on them anyway. I surely do. So what I'm doing is, since I was trying to change all the babies today, I was trying to change them for Wednesday Wednesday. Um, that's the easiest way to go. With like, if I'm going to change multiple babies, is just to put onesies on them. That's like the quickest thing. An easiest thing and I don't have like where I could have put all of them in something that matches so that is something I'm going to look into getting I want something even if it's onesies or something where all of them can wear the same little matching outfit so he's getting these little mustard colored socks and they're not as dark um Jackson has one another pair because I got like two packs of the same socks um i didn't even realize i had two packs of them i got them at different times i guess i like the mustard color so i ended up grabbing another set which is good because now two of the babies can wear this you know the same socks and then i also had the hand mitts because i have a pack of the mitts also that match these little sets and they're like 
everything is like mix and match, I noticed, where you can have different onesies and the, the mitts match the different sets, the colors. Or you could have different hats and it kind of blends in with another set of onesies because of the colors. So that's what I've been doing lately is like buying different sets that you can kind of mix and match for the boys and the girls. So I'm going to put this hat on Everett, although his onesie has animals, the hat has vehicles, but that's okay because this is the same color. So we're going to put this on him, although this hat is not probably an exact match. And also this hat is big on his little head because he is tiny. He is my little newborn boy. I hope you guys can see him. And I'm stepping on the tripod. But that is him. He's so sweet. I love his size. And I love how this baby feels. Oh, my gosh. he His silicone feels amazing. He feels similar to Layla over here. My little girl. They feel very similar to each other. But I think I even like the way he feels even more than I like the way Layla feels. And Layla feels amazing, her silicone. But this silicone, oh my goodness. He feel like just like butter. I, I don't even know how to explain it. But he is a smooth finish. He has the smooth finish. And then Layla has the textured finish. When you touch her cheeks and stuff and her silicone, it has more of a skin type of texture. It's different from his. She wrinkles different from him. One day when I put them in a video again together, I'll put them side by side so you guys can see how wrinkly she is in comparison to him. But yet they're both, the silicone is similar, the mix, but it's something different about it. I don't know what Claire Taylor does with these babies, but they be similar, but then it be something just a little bit different from baby to baby. The kit additions, there's differences in the silicone and the, the premium babies, there's differences. There is just a lot of, you know, differences. That's why I like having a variety of the dolls because there's just differences in all of them that I like. Like, I can't say, oh, I like this one better because technically I I just like all of the differences that they have going on with them. Okay, so now Amani is up and she, I don't know if I said Everett is Janica, the little boy I just changed. That's one of a kind. Janica, he's a one of a kind in his addition. And also I was saying that the babies in my previous video, I was saying how some of my sculpts are older sculpts. I forgot. Janica back here is in the first full body silicone that Claire Taylor ever created. He's made from the Janica sculpt and that was back in 2011, I believe. But he was not done until 2017. So he's a newer Janica and he's all poured in one piece. So that makes him a one of a kind also with a drink and wet system and all of that. So he is from one of her, her actual first silicone full body sculpts, the full body sculpts. But he was made in 2017. So that's Janica back here. Now this is Amani and I'm about to change her into this rainbow little onesie here and this one is just one you by carter's three months and i had these rainbow socks that i recently got but they kind of go with this onesie as well so we're gonna put that together so amani is the willow awake and she was poured and sculpted and molded by Claire Taylor, but sold as a blank kit. So she was then completed, meaning painted and hair rooted by artist Paula Briggs. So she is what you would call, Amani is a, a kit from a kit edition. So now we are gonna get her into this, and this is a three months, um, definitely the Willow Babies, I feel like they fit in my opinion, I like them in three months size. Um, 
you can squeeze them into some newborns like if it runs a little big they might can fit a newborn but in most cases i tend to like to put my willow babies in size three months and Amani is the twin to the first baby boy I showed over there, which was Jackson, which is the willow asleep. She is the willow awake. So I have a boy and girl set of willow twins. And usually I like to keep them right next to each other. But in this case, I decided to change Jackson off camera and change Amani on camera. So for the moment, they are not side by side. Even when I put them in, they, in the pack and play, I always put the two of them next to each other. Like I don't separate them. I keep them as my twins. Everywhere they're my twins, they stay together. Right, Imani? Okay, so that is her onesie. Let's get her socks on. And again, the rainbow is only on one side of this sock. So I'm going to turn it and put that rainbow on the inside of the ankle so that you can see it. Being that most of these babies, you can't really see the side over here of their leg because the way their legs are usually sculpted, you see the inside. So it just makes sense to put the little design on the inside of the leg. Okay, so that's Amani. Am I going to switch them again? And this Passy does not really match her outfit. I do have one that matches better, but for now, I'll just give her this one. You want your Passy? Some of the babies have their Passy in their mouth. Some of them don't. Little Mika back there has her pacifier because she was trying to get fussy because she tired. So she's sucking on her pacifier. Now little Amani has her pacifier. I love the way these fit their mouth. This itsy, this is itsy ritzy brand. And it's the itsy ritzy is smaller than this one. These are cutie pats. These seem to be like the round part. I don't know, something bigger or different about it to me. I like the itsy ritzy ones better. And the itsy ritzy ones are softer, which the, the one Amani has. To me, it, the silicone is softer on the pacifier. Okay, so last but not least, we are changing little Miss Jone. And Jone is Zen, the Zen sculpt by Claire Taylor Dolls. And she's a partial silicone, as I stated with a full belly plate, anatomically correct. She's a little girl and she is the newest baby in the nursery. She came home just a few days ago, last week on Thursday, I believe it was. So Amani was painted. She was poured into silicone molded and everything sculpted by Clear Taylor Dolls, sold as a blank kit as well. And she was painted by artist Mary O of pebbles and patches nursery so now she's gonna get the same onesie as her sister back there mika the two of them will be wearing the same coral colored onesie that says cute and happy this one is the three month size because little mika is wearing the newborn size and i'm trying to put everybody's onesies on them without messing up their hair too bad because I don't want to have to do hair and make the video even longer. Um, so no one's getting their hair done at the moment. I kind of wish I had hats for the girls' heads too. And you know, I seen the hats that go with these outfits. The onesie that I'm putting on her goes with the rain the other rainbow outfits I showed last week when I was dressing Mika. And I had showed a little haul. And I did see one pack of the hats they had. And I picked it up. I was going to get it. And then I was like, nah, I don't really need the hats. But I kind of wish now I would have got those hats. And they only had one pack of it. So they do have the little hats that go with the little rainbow outfit that I showed in that video last week. There are hats, guys. 
and they had hand mitts but the little hand mitts look so little i didn't even bother they look like you know how they make the baby's hand mitts where they be looking too little so i didn't even get them but they do have hats and hand mitts that go with these onesies in this the rainbow outfit okay so she can this baby can fit she can fit newborn and she can fit um three months size if the three months is not too huge she can fit it because she's like a chubby newborn she's not super long she's like 20 inches but she's chubby so she can kind of fit three months size because she fills it out, although you can see it's a little long on her, but she can fill it out with her weight, the size that she is. She holding her sister's pacifier. Are you trying to take Amani's pacifier out of her mouth? And this baby, as I said, is a partial silicone. Her scope was made back in 2012, I believe it is. And so back at that time, when they were making the partial silicones, they made them with their mouth sculpted closed with a magnet inside. So the magnet, I guess when the silicone is poured, the magnet is already placed, set in place. So her magnet is already inside. So basically she takes magnetic pacifiers um, so she was created her scope in 2012, but she's new because she was just actually finally painted and rooted by her artist, um, just this month, March 4th. Um, so she's like a new baby, although her scope was done way back in 2012. So some of these Zens, like I've had a Zen before, and this is her magnetic pacifier. I've had a Zen before, the Zen Asleep, because there's also Zen Asleep. And it was a boy I had like five years ago. He was my first clear tailor sculpt ever. Um, and he had, his mouth was open just a little bit. So I don't know if someone had opened it, like his artist that painted him had opened his, because he actually could take a magnetic pacifier and he could take a modified cut pacifier. So that was nice with him because he could actually take both. This baby's mouth is completely closed. I know how to open it, but I'm not going to because I like her lips and I don't want to mess them up. I would have to open it if I wanted to open them, cut them open myself and then repair them, which I know how to do it, but I don't, I don't want to mess with her lips because I like the way they are. So she'll just be my magnetic pacifier silicone baby. She'll stay like that. Because the rest of them all take pacifiers. So I don't mind having one that takes the magnetic passy. Okay. So there are these three. Jackson, Layla, and Gabriel. And then trying to go around without cutting off the camera. And here we have little Jone, all dressed, cute and happy. There she is, her socks are a little bit big. These are the zero to six month size socks, so they are big on her little foot. And then she's trying to take um, Amani's pacifier, but here is Amani, little Amani Taylor. Your sister's just hitting you all in your face, right? But she's wearing her little rainbow onesie, as I said, and her rainbow socks. So that's Amani. And then here is little Janica boy with his big hat on. <laughs> Look at that hat. It's like way bigger than his head. His head is like down here, but that's okay. And so Janica boy, which is Everett, I named him Everett, and he's wearing his little onesie with the animals, bringing out the mustard color with his mitts and his socks. And then last but not least is my little Mika. And Mika is Alex asleep. 
And I don't know if I already said that because now I'm doing two videos back to back. So now I'm like, okay, did I say that already or was that the other video? But I'll say it again just in case. So Mika is Alex asleep. My other partial silicone baby girl that I painted all for myself by Clea Taylor Dolls. She is sculpted, molded, and poured by Clea Taylor. And then she was painted and rooted by me. You don't want your pacifier back? It probably needs more lubricant on it. But there is little Miss Mika, and she is also cute and happy. Her socks are newborn, but they're huge because her feet are little. Or, I don't know who has the zero to six months, but one of these socks is zero to six months. And one is newborn, but both of them is too big for these babies' feet. But anyway, guys, that's my babies today. I hope you enjoyed these. This video is rather long. The other one was nice and short. But there they are. So we will see you guys soon again. Thanks for watching. Be safe. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.